Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, just looking at this lawyer committee on civil rights, yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems like they won some sort of award, yes. Mm -hmm. Dedicated supporting advancing diversity within its workplace and board. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm really having a difficult time getting the color of law and laws um, enforced. Yes. You know, um, I know I'm not black or African American or Mexican or Hispanic or Latino. Yes. But I think there's filing of false police reports and then having me arrested when I wasn't in those cities. Yes. And then refusing to admit the evidence. Um, it seems that um, there are a lot of those minorities that are given special attention. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, just being a white American citizen, I'm given no special attention. Yes. Now, um, these hate crimes where I send emails and make videos and the police and sheriff's departments don't feel any compulsion to have to actually enforce false reporting laws for child abuse, child abduction. Mm -hmm. um, these lawyers that are a part of the committee, yeah. Most challenging, uh, the Presidential Advisory Commission on the Election Integrity. Mm -hmm. The administration's retreat from civil rights enforcement. Vestiges of discrimination in voting. Yeah. Uh, but in 1963, President Kennedy laid bare the civil rights crisis unfolding. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Across the country, made clear the private attorneys had the power, capacity, and resources to fight uh, discrimination, racial or not racial, mm -hmm. injustice. Oh. You know, um, could you get me every preschool in the United States? Mm -hmm. I'd like to know the last uh, 10 years of births. Give me all the birth certificates. You know, when Heidi abducted Benjamin, he was 10 months old. Mm -hmm. And... Um, there seemed to be this idea that you could say anything about a man, a white man, oh. and uh, they would just believe it. Even though I was a resident here, I never had any problem with the police while we were living in Clown County. Yes. Had no criminal record, no drug or alcohol use. Yes. And I think that um, this concept of the woman is always right. Oh. There are some hate crimes, the color of law violations that I've talked to you about. Yes. Where you just don't like me because I'm going to have you put in jail or prison. Pooch. I'm going to sue you for everything you own. Now, how the fuck is it that you thought I was in Squim, Washington at 7.47 a.m.? And why was it that you filed a two-count criminal complaint when I wasn't in Brennan, Washington and I had sent you an email that day? And how is it that you think that when I called the Domestic Violence Advocacy Charity, yes, you thought that I would attempt to contact the petitioner through the Domestic Violence Advocacy Charity. There is only one charity in Clallam County, Healthy Families of Clallam County. Now, just so you know, I would have had to been, yeah, as in a man, a white man, the stupidest fucking individual in the United States to call the domestic violence advocacy charity to attempt contact to the petitioner. Yes, you would have. Now, a lot of people would say, well, you go through some relatives. Right. Yeah, I would have. Right. But you said that when I called the charity in this county that specifically is trained in domestic violence mm -hmm. that you thought I was the dumbest fucking white man that you'd ever known. Really, it wasn't a false police report. You spent 20 days doing a dissolution of marriage. You had me arrested three days after you filed for dissolution of marriage. And it was that dumb fucking charity that thought that I was so stupid. Yes. As to attempt contact to the petitioner through the domestic violence. 
as I said, any individual that would have went through the one charity that is specifically there for domestic violence, victims and families, <laughs> you must have thought I was the stupidest fucking white man this nation's ever known. 